Today I'm going to show you a script that allows players to change their license plate in game. It was created by this person and it has some nice features while being compatible with multiple frameworks and systems like Aux. I'll a link to the resource in the creator's discord for support in the description. I hope you enjoy the video. Before you get into the video, I am doing a giveaway of MT workshops created by this person. It's an advanced mechanic script with very cool features. I left a link to the preview in the description. The giveaway starts March 1st and ends on March 8th. To be eligible, you must be in my Discord as well as the creators. In my Discord, go to the giveaway channel and react to enter. There's a section with information pertaining to the giveaway in the description. Now on to the video. First, click the link in the description that takes you to the resource. Once you're there, hit the green code and download zip. Once it's done, open it up and open your server resources. Then drag over what you downloaded and remove the master from the end. Then go to your server CFG and ensure the resource. After you've done that, hit File and Save. Then go back to your resources and find the resource folder. Then go into the image folder and copy the image in here. Then go to whatever inventory you use. I'm using QB inventory, so I'll be going there. And paste the image. The next thing you need to do is add the item. So go back to GitHub where you downloaded the resource and scroll down in the readme. Then copy this block of code here. Go back to your resources in the QB folder. Go into the QB core folder. Shared. Then open the items.lua. Once you're in there, scroll down. And paste what you copied. Then hit file and save. The last thing we'll look at is the config, so go back to your resources and find the resource. Then open the config.lua. The first thing in here is the debug, you can disable it if you wish. Then there's a name for the item that allows you to change the plate, don't change that. Then there's the framework you use, it's already set to QB, supported frameworks are commented out. Then there's an option for logs, followed by a notify and input option. Again, supported methods are commented out. I won't be changing any of these. Next is an alt keys option. Set it to true if you're using one of the methods mentioned in the commented out text. Then there's an option for whatever key system you use, followed by the inventory system and progress bar. I'm using QB inventory, so I'll change it here. And I'm going to change the progress bar as well. Next is the icon that displays in placeholder text that shows before you enter a new plate name. Then there's the title of the menu and text that explains how long the plate can be. Below that is where you change the minimum and maximum amount. The last thing in here is a filter where you can add words you don't want to be used. After you've made all the changes you want, be sure to hit file and save. Then start your server and test it out. Alright, so I'm back in the server now. I'm going to go ahead and buy a car. All right, then I'll spawn in the item to change the plate. I'm gonna go ahead and use it and enter a new name. Not long enough. Okay, so it lets you know that the plate has been changed, and you can see it. 
So I'll go over to the nearest garage and park it. When you go to take it out again, it shows you the plate. And it's saved. That'll be all for this video. If you enjoyed and it helped you out, please leave a like and a sub. If you need help or have any suggestions, feel free to comment down below or join my Discord. It'll be in the description. I left a link to the creator's Discord there as well. Thank you for watching.